Hey guys, welcome back. It has been such a long time and I want to apologize for that. Today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me and it's going to be a life update of what has been going on in my life for the past couple months. It has been extremely busy which is why I have not been able to really post on social media as much as I really want to but if you do watch the video you guys will hear why. If you are new to my channel then welcome, I hope you're here to stay. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button down below that way you're notified every single time I upload a video. If you guys are interested in getting ready with me today and hearing what's been going on in my life recently then just keep watching. Alright guys, so we're just going to get started. I feel a little bit weird just because it feels like it's been so long since I've just sat down to film me doing my makeup. But the first thing that we're going to go in with is my foundation. I actually lately have not been using primer, believe it or not. Usually I do, but lately I've just been straying away from it. I feel like I don't have a primer right now that I necessarily love, so I've kind of just been skipping that step. And the foundation we're going to be using today is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I actually repurchased this, and this is the shade Creamy Beige. I used to have it in the shade Soft Honey from when this foundation first came out, but I used all of it, and I felt like that shade was a little bit too orange, and this one's a little bit more neutral. It's the shade up, so. I did repurchase this because lately my skin has just been incredibly dry and flaky lately and after a few hours of wearing matte foundations now it just makes my skin look horrible to be perfectly honest so I'm trying to find a good balance between a natural finished satin foundation and I feel like that's what this healthy elixir really does. I'm just going to apply that all over my face like always with clean hands then the only other makeup that I have on right now are my brows so we're just gonna be getting ready together today so obviously I haven't been on YouTube and even really social media for a while life has just been incredibly crazy lately so at the end of March, I ended up moving out. If you guys didn't know, I still lived with my parents while I finished college. So the dark gray background that you guys used to see was my room. I honestly just filmed in my room. It was incredibly small, incredibly cramped. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? So um, I lived there and at the end of March, I just decided to move out. Um, I ended up moving out with my boyfriend, Danny. You guys probably don't know this either just because I feel like I've kept my private life pretty private while I'm here on YouTube, but um, Danny and I have been dating for almost four years now. It will be our four year anniversary in June and him and I are very happy together so we decided to move out. Him and I just rented out one of those moving trucks for the day and then moved all of our stuff ourselves just to save money. We moved into an apartment and it's a pretty small apartment. I'm sure, I really hope that you guys, I really hope that I'm not echoing too, too much, but um, it's really nice. We enjoy it and it's pretty small, but it's honestly all the space we really need. So we moved in here at the end of March and it took us a little bit to kind of get settled and comfortable. It's incredibly easy living together. I know that a lot of people are always like, oh, you don't know someone until you live with them, but him and I have been together for so long that we get along very well and living together is incredibly easy. Wow, we've been here for a month already, which is crazy to me because I feel like we still just moved out. On top of moving out, this is my last semester of college. I'm finishing nursing school and I actually graduate next week, which is another thing that I honestly can't believe is even here. It's still surreal to me and I don't think it's really hit me yet that I'm about to graduate college. I have been going to school all my life and to finally be done with it seems like a crazy idea just because it's really all I've ever known. So now I'm just going to go in with my concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I'm just going to warn you, this is incredibly, incredibly light. 
but I'm going to kind of balance it out with my setting powder, which has a tint to it. So we're definitely going to make it work, but I'm just warning you that it's definitely going to be a, an incredibly light shade. I'm going to apply that on the lid as well. I always do that. I'm just going to work with one eye at a time and just blend it out with my finger and then go back in with my beauty blender. For my last semester, I had a clinical to-do called a practicum. So if you don't know what a practicum is in terms of nursing, it's basically another clinical, but instead of being in a group with a faculty member or instructor on site and watching your every move, you're actually placed on a unit that hopefully you get to choose. I was able to choose where I was placed. You're basically assigned to a nurse and you work with that nurse one-on-one, -on -one, which is really nice because it's kind of a realistic type of learning experience. So in nursing school, not that it's not realistic, it's just, you know, you go over the basics and when you're at clinical, you do the basics. But for instance, when I was one-on-one -on -one with my nurse, she taught me you know, what I needed to chart on, what time I needed it done by, all these things. So it was basically an orientation, which I really enjoyed. So I was basically at the hospital for 60 hours a week for, you know, five, 12 hour days. And it was honestly, you guys, it was just a lot. Like the only thing that I wanted to do when I got home was just chill out and rest. I didn't want to do anything else just because I was so tired all the time. But Thank God my practicum is now done. I completed all of the hours, so I'm back to a normal schedule at the hospital. I'm not working overtime anymore. Another thing you guys may not have known is that I also worked a second job. And not only did I work at the hospital, but I also worked as a secretary elsewhere. So I would work at the hospital during the week, and then I would work as a secretary on the weekends. and. Because this semester has just been crazy and graduation's coming up, I decided to resign from my position as a secretary and I worked my last shift there last weekend. So right now I only have one job and it's the hospital. I no longer have clinicals, I no longer have to work as a secretary anymore, so life has kind of been calming down a little bit, but in terms of graduation and all of that stuff and preparing for the NCLEX, which is the state board exam for nursing, um, it's still going to be a little bit stressful, but it's, it's still calming down compared to what I'm used to. So with that being said, I'm super excited just to do what I want to do and in terms of what I mean, I mean filming. So in terms of filming, I want to start filming beauty videos again because I know that's what most of you are here for. I want to start getting back to filming my workouts for you guys because I still post like workout selfies on my Instagram, but I really want to show you guys what I'm doing to achieve my physique. I posted one workout video and then it was just too difficult for me to coordinate either someone filming me or I didn't have enough time to really feel myself working out. I feel like that is obviously way more helpful to you guys than just a butt selfie. You know, in the beginning of the year, I said that 2018 is going to be my year. It's going to be a great year for us on YouTube, and I still truly mean that. It's May. I got a really good start to the beginning of the year. The semester has kind of just been... It's been a lot, but I'm definitely going to get back to it. And YouTube to me before was almost felt like a third job and I was just pulling myself in multiple different directions at once that I like couldn't focus and truly succeed at one particular thing including YouTube. Now that school's about to end, I'm about to start my career as a nurse and you know that's going to be my main you know sole job. I really think that my YouTube life here and um, also just 
life with social media in general is really going to thrive much more than it has in the past. So I'm incredibly excited. I hope you guys are too. The bronzer that I'm using is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. I did a full video on all of the shades of this bronzer, so I will leave it down below in case you guys haven't checked it out. But I'm just using the Morphe G7 Powder Brush from the Gunmetal Collection just to apply it. I haven't, lately I haven't been very precise with my bronzer application just because I want more of like a blown out effect than a precise contour. I'm just going to apply that as close to the hollows of my cheekbones as I can and on the corners of my forehead. And then on the sides of the nose, I really don't nose contour. I kind of just give it a little bit of a sun-kissed look by running my bronzer brush on the sides and then on the tip of my nose. So since I am now living with my boyfriend, I think that it would be a lot of fun to maybe film a video with him. Whatever kind of tags you guys would like to see me film with him, I'm going to try and talk him into it. I did mention it before and he said he would be open to the idea, so I think that it would be a lot of fun. I think what I want to do is kind of like the, you know, meet my boyfriend tag since you guys really haven't met him yet. I only posted one picture with him on my Instagram. So if you have any questions for us, leave those down below. That way we're answering questions that you guys are curious about. So next I'm going to apply my highlighter and this is the MAC Oh Darling highlighter. This used to be a special edition or a limited edition shade, but they finally came out with it permanently in their Extra Dimension Skin Finish line. Just going to apply that with the Morphe M310 fan brush. And I did do my brows off camera today. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Caramel. And I just cleaned it up with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I have been trying to do my brows a little bit darker so they show up on camera. A lot of the times the lighting from my ring lights just wash them out since I'm blonde, obviously. Um, and then I get a lot of comments like, where's your brows? Why didn't you do your brows? What about your brows? And I understand maybe they're not like, you know, the on fleek brow that everyone's used to, but believe me guys, they're there. So because I'm wearing a royal blue shirt today, I really like the way royal blue and orange pair together. So I think I'm going to do an orange-ish eye today and I'm going to use shadows that I haven't used in a very long time and these are my Makeup Geek shadows. So I have a ton of Makeup Geek shadows. They are still very phenomenal in quality. Um, and then this is my warm palette. So I think the first shade I'm going to go into is this one, which is Chickadee. And then my favorite brush to apply my transition shade has been the Morphe E22 blending brush. And it's very big and fluffy, but it's tapered at the end. So you still have some control with it. Even though, honestly guys, life has been so busy for me that I haven't even been doing my eyeshadow like I used to, but I'm really looking forward to getting back into that. If you guys would like an apartment tour, I would be happy to film one for you. The only thing is when people film house tours and, ap and apartment tours, I feel like they have super nice, overly sized houses and apartments that I can't even afford. So I'm just worried that if I did film an apartment tour for you guys, it won't be as extravagant as the ones that we're used to seeing. I'd be very happy to show you guys, I just don't want you guys to be bored with it. So if you guys would be open to the idea just to see the little space that I moved into, then I would be happy to show you. We have a very tiny dining room, which is actually the room that I'm filming in right now. And obviously if I'm filming in it, we don't have a table. So. This is now my filming space. Now next I'm actually going to apply the shadow onto my lid and the one that I want to go into is this one right here which I believe it's called flame? Yes, flamethrower. I feel like people need to start using Makeup Geek shadows again or at least more often. With the foiled shadows from Makeup Geek, 
They apply very well with your finger. So if you see how pigmented that is, and that's how you're going to get the best application. If you need precision with these shadows, then use a flat synthetic brush. So the reason why I'm applying this to my lid first before deepening our crease is because since I'm applying it with my finger, I know that it's going to be a little bit of a messy application. And then once I decide to go back into a deeper crease shade, applying that in my crease is going to help blend out my lid shade. This is the Morphe... E17 and it's a smaller version of the bigger fluffy brush that we used earlier. So now I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is actually a MAC shadow and it's the shadow Red Brick. And I'm going to apply that deeper into the crease. But it's nice to use makeup that I haven't used in a while. I apologize that this makeup application has kind of been all over the place. For instance, I just realized I forgot to apply my blush. So I'm going to go back into Chickadee and apply that to the lower lash line. I always tap off my brush. That way it kind of eliminates the chance of fallout as much as you possibly can. So in terms of new content, let me know what you guys would like to see. I've kind of been out of the makeup loop in terms of newer products, so if there's any new launches that you guys would like me to review, then let me know. Back to the eyeshadow, like I said, this is all over the place, but this is a get ready with me, so this is typically what goes on when I get ready. It's just an unorganized mess. Now that I live in my own apartment, I'm a lot more open to vlogging. If you guys are open to vlogs, and let me know, because um, that's something that I'd really like to do and to get into. I'm super excited because the other day I purchased tickets to Vegas, so I'm going to be heading to Vegas later in the summer, and I cannot wait. I've only been to Vegas once before. It was when I first graduated high school, which I know sounds incredibly odd because I wasn't 21 yet, but um, I have family that lives out there and they were kind enough to let me stay with them and they kind of showed me around and it was basically a sightseeing vacation, so they showed me all of the different hotels, all the different casinos. I also got to see what residential life was like in Vegas, so honestly, I love the city. So I'm really excited to visit again. I'm going to be visiting family again, and we're also going to be going for Danny's birthday, and it's going to be the first time that he goes to Vegas, so I'm excited to kind of show him around and have him fall in love with the city as well. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using for eyeliner, mascara, and lashes because I'm going to do that off camera. So my liner is going to be my Holy Grail liner I've talked about in a couple of my videos. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto in the shade Black is Black, of course. I love this just because it is so easy to apply and quick to apply. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is another Holy Grail of mine. And then the lashes I'm going to be using, I've actually used and worn a few times already. Cocoa Lashes in the style Queen Bee. Apply that off camera real quick just because it's a little bit difficult. So I will be right back. Alright guys, so liner and lashes are now on. What an incredible difference they make on any makeup look. So finally we're just going to end with lips today and I'm going to be applying the ColourPop Lippy in the shade Cookie. This is actually one of their mini versions um, that I got for, I believe it was a free sample after making a purchase, but I'm going to be applying this to the lips. I like applying lipstick and lip gloss just because I like my lips that are already dry to feel hydrated. So the lip gloss I'm going to be applying is the Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Nude, and this, these types of lip glosses have, um, flashlights on the inside of them. I don't know if it's because they think maybe you're going to be up in the club trying to reapply your lip gloss. I'm not a club type of girl, so I wouldn't use that for that purpose. So I'm just going to apply this right over top. And to be honest, you don't even need lipstick underneath these lip glosses because they are pretty pigmented. But 
I just felt like using a lipstick today. I miss the lip glosses that brands used to make back in the day. They used to make your lips look basically wet. I love those lip glosses. If you guys have any recommendations of lip glosses that I should try, please leave them down below because I am trying to delve into more brands and more varieties. But that completes this look very warm but like I said when I wear blues like this I like to kind of counteract it with a very warm orange eye and I feel like they pair very well together so I'm happy with the way it turned out I hope you guys like this look as well and I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of sitting down and talking with me today I felt like I was ranting a little bit, so I apologize for that, but I kind of just wanted to update you guys on what has been going on in my life recently. Like I said, I moved, I'm finishing school, I quit my second job, so hopefully, I shouldn't say hopefully, it's going to be up from here, and I'm very excited with... You know, just being able to spend more time on YouTube, more time on social media, and more time interacting with you guys. So let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see. I love when you guys comment, so please comment down below what kind of videos you want to see in terms of beauty. If you guys would like to see vlogs, I can show you, you know, what I'm eating in the day, me working out. I can do specific workout videos for you guys. Um, now that I have a little bit more time on my hands. And then let me know if you guys would like to see a meet my boyfriend tag so you guys can get to know Danny a little bit more. And if you would like to see videos like that, then leave us questions down below that we can answer for you all. I want to thank you all so much for watching and being here with me today. I am incredibly appreciative of all of you. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.